Okay, so neighborhood wrestling in the house. Uh, made the drive over from Akron. No, you guys live in Green. In Green, yep. I remember stuff. I remember things. Just south of Akron. Okay, so made the, the uh, trip over from Green. Neighborhood wrestling club. Neighborhood wrestling. What are the What are the Hurley brothers doing over there? Talk to me. Uh, we just, you know, we, we scaled things back two, three years ago, and it wasn't about uh, get a big room. It was more about bringing a small group of kids together from the neighborhood. And uh, it was just about, they were all at the same level and, and, and watching them grow together. Uh, and then, you know, it's, we wrestled out of a, a garage, out of green, and we kept it small for just that reason. So we're able to, uh, you know, make sure that everybody's getting the same growth. Some are, some are getting it before others, but it's, you know, it's been working. So okay, I see you. Um what's in your water because you don't seem to age i don't understand what's going on it's kind of disappointing for me as a man to see another man not age but 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 listen hey you had a you had a severe neck injury didn't you right i can i can see you had you were fused right you were fused to the neck um i remember it was at cleveland state wasn't it um and you had this crazy wide open style right yeah have you calmed down in your 30s, uh, and have you taught a style that is more like most kids can do? I, it was it was tough for me in the beginning. That's a great question because I was just talking to my dad about that. I had to slow things down and go back to the basics because what was working for me was the exact opposite of, of what basic is. So yes, I crazy had, duck unders yeah, ducks, and cartwheels and guys to get in on a shot, and I felt comfortable from working. You know, I would almost give up two to get five. On a lot crazy of rubber knees, yeah, yeah. elevators, right? Yeah, That's the stuff I remember. It. At least, yeah. right? I, I, Am I right in what I remember? That was it. I, you know, I, I would really give up to uh, a, a takedown, you know, just to get things uh, to get in a flurry. I would for, force a flurry, you know, and I would give up points, not minding. Uh, to get there. How, how are you? Are you is, your, is your back, neck healthy? Uh, yeah, no, it's good now. I mean, every once in a while, I'll, you know, a little, get a tingle, yeah, get numb a little bit. Absolutely, it's scary. But you're good now. I'm like good for now, the most part, you're good. Yeah. Okay, um, you guys are pretty blue collar. Right, your, your dad is the electrician. Electrician, uh, uh, plumbing and yeah, plumbing both your dad and your brother are plumbers. Yeah, my brother does sprinklers. Okay, so you guys, blue collar. It's Akron. It's Akron. It's Canton. Right? No, and that's and that's what Northeast Ohio is. Right? A lot of people call it the Rust Belt. If you didn't know that, you come from the rubber city, right? But when you look at it, how much of that do you instill in these wrestlers? Absolutely, that's it. You know, like people were saying that this was uh, Oak Harbor was definitely harder of the sectionals. Um, Lexington had four kids in some ways, and we're we're going to Oak Harbor. You know, we're not going to shy away from the competition uh, because you got to beat these guys one way or another. So you know, the focus is to go out there and wrestle the best guys and not to shy away from competition. And that goes back to, you know, just a livelihood, to work and to outwork everyone. Okay, OAC, you've had a, you know, a lifelong relationship with the offers, right? Good people, great people, I love working with them. Amazing people. Right when you look at this thing, how this thing has grown, you guys saw it from when you know from 20 years ago, right? What's it been like to watch OAC grow into what it is now? Now you have to go to a sectional, to qualify for a district, to qualify for the state. You used to just go to a district, then you were at the state. Well, originally you could just go to the state, right? But it's grown and it's created so many opportunities, right? It, it continues to grow. The Opera family, what they've built here is extremely inspiring. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're a wrestling fan or not, they have built the best competition. And to my opinion, and I, you know, I'm biased, but Ohio is always one of the top two, three states in the country. That's actually statistically a fact. I just want—I uh, wanted to let you know that, right? You did you qualify for the NCAA tournament for Cleveland State uh, once? I did. Yeah. yeah I did. So, so when you look at the qualifiers, yeah. it's usually like PA. Yep. They always have the most qualifiers because they have the most depth in high school. And then it's either Jersey or Ohio, right? Yep. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Right? I mean, you being an NCAA qualifier, you would know that. 100%. You, you know, you'd always look, you'd go to these, uh, you know, Tulsa Nationals and this type of thing. And you know, I ran into a guy that was from like, and no, no disrespect to any other state, like North Carolina. He's a five-time champ, and it was just like, you know, what, what the hell just happened? You know, like, <laughs> where? You know, and it, and it just goes to show with uh, what Ohio has built and what it's been built on for years now. It's not like this just happened, you know. So what they've built here is unbelievable. Unfortunately, I'm uh, age myself, and, and when I was a freshman in high school, it started. So my brother, Ryan, was in his first year of it, and uh, he was a state champ as an eighth grader. Uh, Ryan won the Ryan won OAC. The what, the, he won the first OAC. Yeah. He's nails, though. Yeah. Ryan was state champ once for uh, St. V. Yes. 
right? Yeah. Was it his senior year or sophomore year? What year? Sophomore year. Sophomore year. Freshman year, he was in the finals. Got deep, but yeah, was, yeah. And then you won as a senior. I won as a senior. Yeah. yeah. It was like, and you, you were runner up. You, you were runner up. Yeah. Three time finalist. And you were a three time finalist? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. Right, and you got, did you get caught in pin one time yeah, even? I was winning in. I remember. And and I remember a lot of crazy stuff yeah, if you haven't noticed. It happened, it happened. It right? Was, and then I wrestled with you know, somebody that I've been, I grew up in the same club with. We're fr family friends to this day. And Who was it? Uh, Brett Smilek. Was it? Pinned him the, the week before. What, CVCA Smilek? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. wrestled a dude from CVCA yeah, in the state yeah, finals. Yeah, yeah. Who'd you beat when you won? Then, uh, Kaylin Null? Did you beat Kaylin Null? Good, man. I did, yeah. What do you think? Kaylin what do you think? Good. I was the best man at his brother's wedding. There you go. Okay. Yeah. I know stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, what has it done for you as a man to be able to teach? You had to step out of this. You had these crazy hips, I remember. Yeah. These crazy knees. You were a double knee drop, yeah. like a duck guy, right? Yeah. I remember, right? High crotch. You did this crazy. You were able to pull the trigger as a man. Now you're in your thirties. That's probably not. A, you can probably still do it. Yeah. But like you got to teach this basic style. What has it done for you as a person? Uh, it definitely changed me as a person. But it, you know, it, it's back to the basics is always good. Um, when things weren't working for me in high school or college, or I had good coaches to pull me back in and say, back to the basics. Let's not rely on going to your back to start the match. You know, because there's a lot of guys that would watch what I was doing and say, you know. I'm not gonna shoot. I'm gonna slow things down. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna play into what he's got going on. So, yeah, I mean, that's, and that's kind of the way that we're coaching now. And, and uh, with, with, with our guys, they're starting to have a better understanding of the basics. So now we're starting to show them. You know, this is turning the wrong way, but if you went, went all the way through it, you know, this is what can happen as well. So, all right, starting to play around. With it. We got we got wrestling starting here. You got anything else for me? I think that you are doing an unbelievable job. Personally, you know, what you guys have, have grown and done, and uh, saw you last night at the Iron Man. We're and, grinding, huh? That's it. You yeah, are. I am. For the level of this We're gonna done. I, get, I make zero dollars. I actually lose money doing this, but I, I, I wouldn't know it any other way. You know, and I know. I saw you at the Iron Man. I see you right here. You know, this morning, and I'm, I'm sure you're trying to figure out where you're going next week, as we are. So. So awesome. Doing, I love it. I awesome, man. Well, I appreciate the compliment. Absolutely. All right, hey, get in there, keep grinding. Thanks Thank for the time, Coach. Thank you.